Hello everyone and welcome back to Homeworld actually. It's dark outside, let's quickly sleep. And I've been working behind the scenes in between episodes for a little bit and I made some progress with, well, the most important thing right now for me is getting more and more energy so I keep expanding my farm. Actually, I got even more worms now so I replaced this whole thing just with worms and they are so good. I mean, they actually increase the speed at which crops grow and this is insane. Like, I just keep noticing that this field was producing more than that one and I was like, yo, I need to get more of these worms and that's exactly what I did. And so I also keep terraforming this whole area, but I need more... I need more dirt for that, but today I wanted to do something different. So basically I am really tired of this whole thing that I have going on with chests, okay? This is pure unadulterated madness. Every single chest I have in here is just an, an unorganized mess. And I think it's time to change it, okay? And this yes. pearl unfortunately doesn't help much. But I gotta say, I gotta say, this quarry is doing so good. Oh my gosh, that's actually the first diamonds from the quarry. But I keep noticing that it's actually producing more and more valuable resources. Just, uh, just a moment ago actually, I put a bunch of ores in here. As you can see, 30 tin ore, even more tin, and a bunch more tin. Okay, yeah, it produces tin and tin only. No, but seriously, it's producing more and more valuable resources, which is amazing. So, yeah, I'm glad I have this farm now to power it up even more. But as I was saying, yeah, want to do something about storage. And the thing I want to do about storage is something I told you a few episodes ago, which is get into refined storage. Refined storage is a sort of a multi-block system. If you played with Applied Energistic, you know what it is. Refined Storage is just like ME system, only I think it's even simpler and cheaper. <laughs> and as, as you can see, I made this little house. Well, not house, but you know, this little secure area for Lapis, so she can't leave. And I also took away her hole, so she can't turn land into farmland. Basically, right now, to get started into refined storage, I gotta go to the nether. And I gotta get a bunch of quartz. So I think I might as well take a look at the other side of the fortress while I'm doing that. And I also have a potion in my inventory. This is a healing potion because I will have to poof Lapis at least a couple of times. So... <laughs> If I'm on the other side of the fortress and she suddenly cracks, that will be a disaster. But using this healing potion, I will be able to heal her just like I did it with Pearl in the previous episode. So yeah, let's go. Let's go and I think I will find some quartz on the other side as well. Yeah, so uh, from this point on I can probably spawn Lapis. Alright, and let's go to the other side. I also have my shield with me. I honestly never really used shields in Minecraft. I always feel like it's not really safe, right? But I see a lot of comments saying, yo, you can just use shield to block projectiles from blazes. And if that's true, that's actually really big. Because I'm always afraid of doing that because I think it's not good enough, right? I think I'm gonna use this shield and it will reduce, may, maybe reduce damage a little bit, but I, I will still be on fire or something, so there is no point in using it. But, you know, next time Blaze is shooting at me, I will try to dodge, I will try to dodge its attack using shield. And let's see what happens. Alright, well, this is Fortress. Let's land maybe over here. But I still don't see anything... No, actually, let's not even land. I mean, as you remember, I'm looking for something other than freaking bridge. This fortress is a giant bridge that doesn't lead anywhere. I'm looking for an inside portion 
of a fortress. I want to get some chests, but I don't see any. I think there might be something on that side, something kind of resembling the f uh, the inside. But look at this, actually. That's some obsidian. I'm not even sure yeah. why there will be obsidian in the nether fortress. Do I have any torches? I do not. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, let me quickly place <laughs> some fire. Okay, so what the heck is this? Thankfully, I have efficiency 3 diamond pickaxe, so I can find out. Oh my gosh, do I have carnelian? Carnelian, I might have a mission for you. This seems like some kind of a dungeon. Okay, I just gotta be careful, gotta make sure there's a little bit of a staircase. Okay, oh my gosh. What is this place? Infernum Altar. Oh my gosh. I think I can do something with that place. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what, but it sure looks interesting. I wonder. Actually, can I maybe alter... Wait, maybe I can see recipes if I click on it in here. No, no. But I gotta... I definitely gotta take a look at what this obsidian altar does. Maybe I can summon something. We'll see. We'll see. And let's quickly try to dig in here. No, there is nothing. Okay. Okay, so... Let's get out of here. Follow me. I see a bunch of wither skeletons right above me, but I think it's just just a bridge <laughs> once again. Maybe, maybe they are below yes. me and there's actually some chests underneath, but I honestly don't think so. Okay, another blaze spawner, which is nice. It's always nice to have more blaze spawners. Let's take a look at this thing and then that thing as well. Okay, nope, nothing here, and oh my gosh, a chest, finally, Lapis, let's go, okay, okay, good, stay here, don't, don't fall into lava, <laughs> actually, let me maybe use some of that, okay, because I still want for it to provide light, but okay, sure, <laughs> I hope they're not gonna burn down, but let's see, oh my gosh, cracked amethyst, Guys, we got another gem and some horse armor. And what is this? Robo surgeon from cyberware. I should actually really get into cyberware and get some cool, uh, some cool cybernetic enhancements. Okay, Lapis, stay here and stay safe. <laughs> actually, never mind. I think I just finished exploring this fortress. But still, I'm gonna take a quick look on the other side. Okay, let's build a little bit of a bridge. Just like this. And let's see if there is something over here. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Well, I got at least one chest, which is nice. And I think there is another area I can explore. I think it's actually on the other side. I think there is a bridge that leads to the right. And I didn't really go there before, so maybe, maybe there is something interesting there. Let's see. Well, actually, I think that's the one I was talking about, so let's get inside of it. And that does look promising. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 let's, yeah. let's do a little bit of exploring. All right, so here we have nothing. <laughs> But there's actually, there actually seems to be another spawner nearby, which is nice. Okay, but yeah, unfortunately, nothing here. Nothing really here. Oh my gosh, blazes. Oh my gosh, three blazes firing at me at once. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back towards the portal. But also, gotta find a nice vein of quartz. Because I think I will need a lot of it. For refined storage like this is gonna be one of the main resources for this mod okay that's uh, that's a nice vein let's start with that okay so that's how much 
That's 12. Oh my gosh. I need a lot more. I need a lot more. What is this? Soul ore can be mined with an iron pickaxe. And it's from the same mod that I got, that I saw this altar just a second ago. So maybe I can use it for something related to this altar. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna use it in the future. All right. Don't see any more quartz other than this one. Th those, what is this? Ah, whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That could have been lava, <laughs> actually. I really need to be careful. I hope Lapis isn't stuck here. Okay, let's try to get out of here. Let's try to get out of here on Lapis then. Okay, good. Good. Actually, I think 12 might be enough to get started. But I still want to get a little bit more. So I don't have to come back every single time. But what I'm gonna do with this quartz is I'm gonna combine it with iron. So for every piece of quartz, I think I will be able to get three sort of quartz enriched ingots or something like this. And this is actually fortress as well. I've never been to this part before, so let's quickly take a look at it. Let's see if there is maybe more chests in here. Okay, so far, no. Oh my gosh, did you try to push me into this mud? Did you, Lapis? <laughs> okay, don't do that. Alright, so nothing here. Nothing there, but here we have more of nothing. <laughs> this, is, this is such a weird... Another fortress, okay? I still can't believe that this is literally just one giant bridge that doesn't lead anywhere. There is two... Uh, two blaze spawners and that's it. Ah, uh, there's gotta be more. Okay, that's actually interesting. That's actually very interesting. Let me get that real quick. And let's get on the other side. Okay, so that's block of lava right here. Gonna just block it. Alright. Okay, so hopefully I'm gonna get some more chests. What I want is more gems. But also, I can use at least... At least one ender pearl. For sure. Okay, so nothing here. Unfortunately... <laughs> I forgot to bring torches. But, it's gonna be okay. There's quite a lot of things to explore in here, so I might find a lot of chests, but so far I just found one dead end. In any case, okay, let's explore the lower levels first. Nothing? Dang it. Ah, such a weird fortress. Such a weird fortress. This is ridiculous. I hear ghasts. Gotta be careful. Okay, another chest. Let's see. <laughs> a bee peridot. Nice. Oh my gosh. Finally, now there is someone who can look after my giant farm. Thankfully, I brought a wooden crate with me. So I can just put some stuff over here. And, um, and can pick this up now. Good, good. Okay, okay. Where is my... Axe, there we go. Alright, got a peridot. I just realized that they're both cracked. Oh my gosh, another peridot. All of those gems are cracked, so I will also have to either get rose quartz before I can use them, or... Or I will have to... Mm, I will have to get some more healing potions. Which I can do, but look at this. Three peridots. Oh, yes. If Lapis doesn't crack, then I will be able to use one of my potions to get at least one of these Peridots. Okay, let's kill this guy real quick. Thank you very much for your Blaze Powder, Blaze. Very appreciate your donation. All right. So, yeah, let's quickly explore uh, a little bit more Void Crystal. Nice, I'm actually getting a lot of cool things from here. More of those Anori crystals. And I still 
I'm still not exactly sure what they do, other than, you know, some basic armor recipes, but they seem to be quite valuable, so it's nice getting them. But also, Void Crystals, Emeratic Crystal Block... <laughs> Sounds valuable. Okay, oh my gosh, gassed. But it looks like that's about it. I mean, I can still explore for a little while longer, and maybe I will find something, but I can also do it later on. And right now, I feel like I need to get out of here. There's a lot of mobs now, and it's kind of getting scary, okay? But it's a good thing that I found this place. Turns out there's a... Ah, this fortress is really big, okay? And there's this whole other area that I didn't explore before. And I just stumbled upon it because I needed some quartz. And as a matter of fact, I still need some quartz. Yeah. So yeah, you're following me? Let's go get it. Don't get stuck in here. Good job. Good job, Lapis. Okay, I... <laughs> I haven't been here before. I entered this part of the fortress from some other entrance. Okay. But now I'm out. And I'm gonna get some more quartz. Alright, that's 20 quartz in total and actually even a little bit more. If I'm willing to jump into this thing. Okay, 21. Good, so as I said, I will get at least three ingots that I need from this quartz. So that will be, what, 66? Okay, I think that might be enough. I think it just might be enough. So let's get back. Let's, uh, let's hope that Lapis doesn't crack. Because if she doesn't, I will be able to spawn in at least one Peridot. Okay, so gotta poof you now. Nice, nice. She didn't crack. So I might need Lapis in the future to go to the nether again, for example. So I'm not gonna put her on the roof, because I don't want to poof her too many times. But uh, let me put yes. those gems in here. And yes, actually most of them are in the box. Okay, so where can I place it? Alright, so three Peridots and two okay. Amethysts. So you two can go in here and also this... This amethyst can go in here as well. And that leaves one Peridot. So, uh, where is my healing potion? Let's heal you, Peridot. I really need you on my farm. But right now, I think this Peridot will be flying, okay? This is dangerous, because this is another Peridot. And actually, yes. hello. Are you mine now? I think, I think you are, because I just spawned you in. So, yeah, that's a standard Peridot. Just a normal cloudy clod that's gonna be working on my farm for the rest of eternity. But let me quickly make sure that... Okay, so I just did some double checking and this Peridot is good, okay? This Peridot isn't gonna fly and that's actually because I spawned this Peridot in... Well, in this dimension. As you remember, in the previous season, there was so many gems that can literally fly. And that's a bad thing, because they're not supposed to, okay? And they were lagging the world so much. Lapis was doing that, and some of my rubies were doing that, and a lot of other gems, but I had to... I had to do some magic in order to make sure that they're not gonna do that again. But... Okay, Peridot, come on. Come on, just leave. Okay, gonna destroy my door to make you leave. But basically, it turns out, it doesn't really matter that I found this gem in the nether. As long as I spawn this Peridot in here first. As far as anyone's concerned, this is the dimension where Peridot was born. So, here is the field for you, Peridot. Uh, yeah, sure. Good, and here is your hoe. There you go. Good luck! Good luck farming. You can start whenever you're ready. Good. Oh my gosh, yes, the dream! Finally! Finally, Peridot is farming. So, yeah, let's actually leave you to do that. I think eventually I will make some kind of a fence to make sure that 
she doesn't accidentally wander off somewhere else and that, that she doesn't doesn't get harassed by zombies. But for now, there's another very important thing I need to do. My original mission of getting quartz. So I need a bunch of iron as well. And look at that. Actually, I don't have that much iron. Are you done? There is no way you finished digging everything. Okay, let's double check. I heal clods saying some cloudy things, but obviously you didn't finish it. Look at all of this. Builder? Yeah, so for some reason sometimes it doesn't work properly. And I think I actually know why. Well, it's probably the same reason as before. The same reason I'm getting into refined storage right now. Because this chest is full. Yeah, actually it doesn't even care about these. Slots is just trying to put items into this chest, which counts as just this area. And it's full, so it can't even mine anything. I really gotta solve the storage situation. Oh my gosh, your inventory is full. And okay, there is a chest in here, and I have another one in my inventory. So let's place them somewhere, okay? I actually got a trash can in here, just for some complete trash that I don't need like pile of ashes goodbye <laughs> quiet okay let's just place it outside okay I don't really care about it right now let's just have some cobblestone in here okay good good and hopefully it's gonna start mining now but yeah as I was saying I don't have that much iron, actually. And this thing doesn't seem to have any additional iron either. Which is not good. And all of that is different kind... Well, actually, this is iron, which is nice. Let's crush it first. And uh, you can go in here. Okay, good. So that will eventually be crushed. But let's start making what I need to make. So I will get quartz enriched iron there we go 16 ingots not sure if that's enough and i can actually smelt nether quartz to get some silicon which is another important resource for this mod so let's just turn a few of them into silicon i'm really not sure how much i need but the first block that i need is the controller i think so let's at least try to get that for that i need three silicon four ingots of quartz enriched iron a diamond which i have and also this thing oh my gosh well this thing needs a bunch of iron huh okay and also one block of stone in the middle i should have a bunch of stone okay so let's make this thing first there we go you can stay in here and okay so diamond checked Oh my gosh, so noisy. So ridiculously noisy. But okay, there we go with that and also silicon. Is this a weapon? That's... No, that's a storage device. <laughs> okay, and what's, uh, what's the last thing? Oh yeah, actually three silicon, of course. Okay, so here's the controller. I don't really think I can do anything with just... Seriously, ridiculously noisy. What the heck? I don't think I can do anything with just controller for now. Let's see how you're doing. Okay, okay, you've got a bunch of carrots, which is nice. Let's uh, let's put them to power up builder, because looks like it's actually running out of power now. But yeah, as I was saying, before some clods interrupted me, I don't think I can do much with just a controller, but let's at least place it down let's see okay so i can mine it with a pickaxe if i need to which is good to know but i also i also want to know if i can even power it up using redstone flux i think i can but let's double check it's it's actually using a different kind of energy oh no actually is this a it should have been using a different kind of energy i from what i read i thought it will be but it actually even says zero rf 
So I think it's using redstone flux. Interfering with my work. Okay, but I can double check. I can actually just mine it. And maybe place it right here. So yes, it's getting redstone flux. Which is nice. So I think I'm just gonna smelt... Well, no, actually, let's take a look at the next block I need, which is... I think oh there is God. this... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's somewhere around here. Refined storage. Let's see. Yes, me, this thing. Soldier. This thing will allow me to make a bunch of other blocks. So, to make it, I need some more enriched iron... And I need some sticky pistons. And for that I need some slime balls, which I don't have any, as far as I know. So I think in the next episode I'm gonna take a trip to one of the many slime islands from Tinker's Construct. I'm pretty sure I can use those slimes to make sticky pistons. So yeah, gonna do that and gonna make my clod my peridot a bit more comfortable in here but oh my gosh look look at hmm actually i thought worms did a great job of growing crops but i think it's more likely that this peridot did a terrible job of collecting resources from this field she just went through here collected a bunch of things in here then <laughs> then probably went down and all the way back to the seed farm is this what happened Ah, what a dumb clod. Ah, you're such a clod. <laughs> but in any case, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one.